Hi and welcome, Simon here and I hope you're doing well. In this video, we'll be troubleshooting HP laptop that has no display on the screen. I know that the screen is fine, it's not cracked or broken. It's just that the computer one day, there's no display on the screen and the computer tried to turn on, but it is not turning on. So let me show it to you. So I have the power plugged into it. My battery is absolutely has no more juice, so I need to plug in my charger. Now here, if you take a look at the screen, when I try to press the power button, it feels like the screen tried to turn on, but it doesn't. The screen is just totally black, not even a dim light, it's just no display whatsoever. But if you take a look at your caps lock, here is your caps lock. And I try to hover it over so you can see the light. As you can see that I have three long beeps or three long flashing lights followed by two short beeps or two short flashing lights. Let's count this together. One, two, three long beeps, one, two short beeps. Let's try again. One, you see that? One, two, three long beeps, one, two short beeps. Okay, so if you have the same indicator on your caps lock with three long beeps and two short beeps, and you have no display on your screen, so let's go ahead and try to troubleshoot the laptop together. So first I need to pull the power and make sure my laptop is turned off. So I'm gonna press and hold the power button until it goes away. All right, so now the laptop is completely off. Turn it around. And we need to get this pr prying tool. Any prying tool is fine. We just need to go underneath the rubber. Where you can see one, two, three hidden sc screws hidden underneath that rubber there and also yes yeah, screw hidden underneath the bottom rubber as well get yourself a Phillips screwdriver and start removing the screws <laughs> My electronic screwdriver has no more juice on it. Back to manual. I kind of felt like the battery is running out. So it's kind of weak when it spins. So let's just use the regular Phillips screwdriver and remove all the screws. Flip it around. And let's try to get underneath that keyboard right here. Once you have enough space for the plastic prying tool, try to use the plastic versus the metal because you would not putting scratches on the plastic if you use the plastic prying tool. And it's a lot better. Yeah not damaging internal part of the computer. All right, once you have removed that back cover, here you can see the entire laptop Based on the HP website, three long beeps with the two short beeps referring to the RAM. So this is the RAM or memory of the laptop and we try to replace this to see if it actually works. So to remove the RAM, 
you need to push the two clipper away from each other so let me turn it this way okay so the two clipper push it away from each other and then you can see that the ramp pop up at about 45 degree angle and you want to slide it away from your body and that's how you remove the ram so this original ram here it says eight gigabytes pc4 pc4 stands for ddr4 ram now i do have a two replacement ram here ready to be installed and let's try with the four gigabytes pc4 ram since you have the laptop back cover removed you want to take this opportunity to go ahead and clean or dust your laptop if you feel like the um the fan is dusty or things like that just get yourself an a can duster and just blow it off all right so i'm just going to be temporary cover up the bottom not to permanently close it but just to cover the bottom so that i can flip it around and try to power up the laptop I'm still getting the same error message. Three long beeps and two short beeps again. One, two, three, one, two, right? So it is the same error message. It doesn't seem like the RAM is helping. Power off the laptop. Let's try again with a different RAM. Let's try with the 8 gigs of RAM and try with a different slot. So I'm going to be using the 8 gigabytes RAM PC4. That stands for DDR4. I noticed that the RAM slot is a little bit dusty. Let's try to insert again one more time. I'll be doing on the secondary slot. Well, I do not see any flashing caps lock here. As you can see, we try to turn it on. There's no caps lock, but I still do not have display on my monitor screen. Finally, it comes on. Sorry, it took a while. So in other words, um, the first slot, it didn't work. I used the second slot. Maybe my first slot was dirty or something else. Maybe the four gigabyte RAM. Maybe this RAM is not good. I don't know. But you can always try with the secondary slot of the RAM. Alright, so again, maybe the original RAM here is broken. Uh, therefore, you can get a replacement RAM. And I'll link it in the description below. I got my RAM through Amazon. And I'll make sure you click on the link. It will direct you to the right website, the right RAM on Amazon. Where you can buy that replacement RAM. So in this laptop here, you probably can run 8 and 8. So you can upgrade yourself to 16 gigabytes of RAM. Or you can just do 8 gigabytes of RAM like what I'm running right now on a secondary slot. So again, three long beeps with the two short beeps on a caps lock that is referring to the RAM problem based on HP website. However, if you have changed the RAM on each of the slot, first slot and secondary slot, or maybe use the two different RAM, a brand new RAM, 
and you're still not getting display on your laptop screen, in other words, more likely something else might be wrong with the laptop. And in, in that case, you might just want to maybe get yourself to uh, get all the backup, all the data, and maybe retire the laptop and get yourself a new one. I hope this video is helpful. And if you find the video is helpful, please give me a like and smash the like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. I like to make most of the content. Maybe once a day, once a week, I'll do my best to get you some of the computer repair videos up for you. Thanks for watching again. Until next time. Bye now.